Welcome back to the channel guys. I love a uh, what's in the bag series just as much as the next person. So today I'll take you guys through what's in my bag for 2023. I did one of these probably a few months ago, maybe like six, seven months ago. But since then, I think only one in 12, 13 clubs has remained the same. So yeah, lots of changes in the bag. Swapped a bunch of stuff out, tried different things. And uh, yeah, it's got a whole new bag here. So let's see what's in it. First of all, the bag itself changed. Uh, I love this Callaway Rogue bag, sort of soft leather, beautiful quality piece. I bought it, I think on Amazon for like 180. Pretty affordable, I think, for this kind of like material and this quality of bag. This is gonna last me a long time, so pretty happy with that. On to what's inside the actual bag. Just got a bunch of teas in here, probably. Just check it out. Glove of choice, Under Armour. Not sure which model, but it does seem to fit me well. Bunch of teas, marker, Sharpie. Got a pitchfork in there with a, uh, a marker as well. So a few random balls that I've found. But the main ball I've been playing with is this one. I'll show you guys. It's a Callaway Chrome Soft X. Really enjoy it. It's nice and soft. Uh, lots of spin around the green, I'd say. I've gotten used to it. I really like it. Uh, I pay around 40 bucks for a dozen of these, so not too bad. I think I bought like last model or 2019 model, I guess. That's about it. I've got my rangefinder sees on a different bag at the moment, so I've got another carry bag. So let's just start with the clubs. Still got some drill sticks in here. Titleist hat that I'll wear every once in a while. Where do we start? Get started with the uh, the one and only wedge. Well, not the only wedge. I've got a few wedges in here, but this is the only wedge that is a different brand. This is the uh, Cleveland RTX Zipcore. It's a really nice wedge. It sort of has a uh, not a complete full face, but there's something over here. Gives it a bit more grip, I guess. Yeah, really nice wedge. Uh, I've got it at 58 with a mid bounce of 10, which is kind of like the standard ones I, I could get. I think they all come in these basic dynamic gold spinner wedge sort of shaft. So yeah, it's been working really well. It spins a lot. Obviously, I was playing some Vokies before, which are great as well. I think the grooves just were worn out a bit. So this one spins a lot more, let's say. Then moving on to my actual irons, which I've got in an A wedge here, and then all the way up until five iron. I've got the Galloway Apex TCBs, as you can see here, TCB forged. And I've got these in the NS Pro Modus uh, shaft in here. And then I'm not sure if you guys can see that, it's a bit worn off, but it's toured 120 in a stiff flex. They're nice and soft forged obviously uh, i really enjoy the feel of these clubs they they're very accurate the, the distance i get of them is very uh, very true distance i would say the shafts as well i've never played these modus ones but uh, the tour 120 stiff flex they seem to be doing all right for me so really really great club it's a small head i don't know like it just sort of like requires me to focus a bit more and I don't seem to have too many off-center hits, so it's mostly I hit it out of the center, but uh, I just maybe hit it a groove low or hit it a bit thin sometimes, but other than that, they're, uh, yeah, they're fantastic clubs, really. So then I've got one four iron, because this one, I bought this set of eBay, and it was uh, a five to A wedge. And it sort of just figured like it would be better to get like a uh, four iron as well, just in the set. Uh, I had space in the bag anyway, so why not? So I've gone for this four iron here, which is the original like Callaway Apex series. I'm not sure, it's a bit of a chunkier head, um, helps a bit more. Yeah, they're definitely forged clubs. I'm not sure what that's, that stands for, 2019 model, I guess. Modus Pro in this one as well. I managed to find one with the same same brand, but this is a Tour 105 stiff. So it's a bit lighter. It's still stiff. It's uh, it's just a bit lighter, a bit easier to hit, I guess. Uh, I don't mind that on my four iron. It doesn't come out of the bag too often, but I'll hit it like maybe once or twice around. Going on to the woods. This is a seven wood from Ping. So it's the G410 model. And 
it's 20.5 degrees, but I've got it at, I don't know, I've got it at that minus over there. I don't actually know whether that's 20 degrees then or whether it's 19 and a half. I guess they go down by, I would say half a degree. So that, that's probably 20 degrees at the moment. Lovely club head. I really love the shape of that. If you can see that over here, it's a beautiful shape on it. Um, I think this G410 is a really nice series. The shaft on the other end, I'm not the biggest fan. It's a uh, Bing Alta CB665 grams, which is a bit too light as well on my uh, on a seven wood for me. It's a stiff though, and it's, uh, it's one I found for a pretty reasonable price, so I figured I'll pick it up. But if I were to change anything, it would probably be the shaft. Other than that, um, I love the sound of this thing. It's a bit more of like a tingy, I don't know, like, a harder sound of the face. It's it feels closer to like an iron or maybe a hybrid, but really easy to hit. Goes up in the air quite well. Maybe on windy days a bit too high, but other than that, it's uh, it's a nice club. So on to the only club in my bag that hasn't changed yet. The reason for that is probably because I haven't found a good replacement for it. It's done well for me, so still happy to keep it in the bag. To be honest, it's uh, the Sim Max. TaylorMade. I've got the three wood, so it's like 15 degrees. You can see it over there. The shaft is still the uh, Smoke RDX Red, which is a stiff 6.0 at 75 grams. So this is actually 10 grams heavier than my than my seven wood, which I guess it shouldn't be. I would love to get like something around 85, 80 grams in the in the seven wood as well, but. I don't know, pink shafts are not that easy to find, uh, I I found at least. On to, let's do the putter first. Um, as you guys might know, I had the Toulon, like the Odyssey Toulon San Diego. I still have it and I still love that putter, but for the longest time I've been wanting something that gave me a bit more confidence while standing over it. So the other one is sort of a blade putter. And I picked this one up from TaylorMade. It was pretty, pretty discounted and I just wanted this shape, you know, this specific shape, the fang type shape. And I absolutely love it. It gives me a tiny bit more sort of confidence over the ball that it's gonna go straight, especially on those shorter putts. It just, I don't know, I picked it up. I had a few test putts with it and I really, really enjoyed it. And it's the uh, TP collection. So Tour Preferred Bandon 1. So yeah, lovely hat. This is in the bag at the moment. I'm just testing this out, seeing what works better for me, but maybe the Toulon will be back in the bag soon. So far, this has been an interesting choice and uh, I've been rolling it well. So I'm happy with this uh, spotter here. Then the last one, the big stick. This is, uh, I love this one. Wow, this has been such a great buy. There you go. It's the Rogue. SD, no, the Rogue, yeah, Rogue SD Max LS, so low spinning head. I've got it at, uh, so it's nine and a half, or sorry, 9.0, but I've got it on draw and plus one at the moment. So I've got it at 10 degrees with a slight draw, sort of draw bias. It's a bit, I guess the face is a tiny bit closed looking at it. Um, and then I've, I bought this like, pretty cheap as well. Like I got it for like 200, 210 maybe. But the shaft in it was like a light shaft as well. It was 55 grams, which I've then upgraded to another one I found in the area, in my area. So I've gone with the Diamana um, D plus 70 grams, which is, you know, a bit more heavy, a bit more stable for me, easier to control. I've been hitting this driver really well, better than I've had. I've been hitting previous drivers. It goes pretty straight. There's not too much shape on it. Like I can't, like I'll fade it or I'll draw it, but it likes to just go straight, which, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. that. That works for me. Really, I love the setup as well. The, the, the shaft has changed a lot for me going with a heavier shaft. Just, you know, makes it more stable. And the head shape, I love this black sort of carbon kind of like look here. Really good, nice to look at. It just does what it needs to do. Right, yeah, there you have it. That's what we have in the bag at the moment. Probably won't be changing much this year, uh, maybe at the end of, towards the end of the year, but this is probably gonna remain. Apart from the putter, I might switch out every once in a while, depending on what I feel like. 
but the rest will probably stay in here for the whole season and uh, hopefully we'll manage to get that handicap down to somewhere low single figures that'll be great let's see um, yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below thanks for watching as always and uh, yeah we'll see you out on the course all right cheers